Efforts of space exploration to Mars began in 1960 with the Mars 1M program consisting of two flyby probes Mars 1960A and Mars 1960. Due to launch failure, the spacecraft could not be parked in the Earth parking orbit. Mars 1962A was a Mars flyby mission launched on October 24, 1962, and Mars 1962B a lander mission launched in late December of the same year. First Soviet Union's first attempt was to reach Mars in a flyby mission, and uh, this is called uh, Mars Mission One and Mars Mission Two, and both were launched in October 1960. and both of them failed because the third stage of both launch vehicles failed to ignite and uh, uh, neither reached the earth orbit fly by spacecraft mars 1 launched in 1962 but on 21st march 1963 when the spacecraft was at a distance of 106 lakh 760000 kilometers from earth on its way to mars communications ceased due to failure of its antenna orientation system in 1964 nasa's jet propulsion laboratory made two attempts at reaching mars mariner 3 and mariner 4 were identical spacecraft designed to carry out the first flybys of mars mariner 3 was launched on november 5 1964 and it failed because the shield that was designed to protect the mariner 3's instruments Uh, during launch failed to release once the spacecraft has reached their target and because it did not release there was an extra mass and carrying this mass to uh, to reach uh, mars was not possible and uh, the mission was lost and now the spacecraft in uh, is in a uh, some solar run in 1964 probe zone 1964a on june 4th and zone 2 on november 30th resulted in failures In 1969, two identical 5-ton orbiters called M69 were lost in launch-related complications with the newly developed Proton rocket. In May 1971, Cosmos 419, that is Mars 1971C, a heavy probe failed to launch. The probe Phobos 1 sent to Mars in 1988 to study Mars and its two moons with a focus on Phobos lost contact on the way to Mars. Roughly two thirds of all spacecraft destined for Mars have failed without completing their mission, and it has a reputation as difficult space exploration target. Missions that ended prematurely after Phobos one and two include Mars Observer, Mars ninety six, Mars Climate Orbiter, Mars Polar Lander, with Deep Space two, Nozomi. It failed to reach Mars orbit, and. Uh, Because they have made a very complex design, and there are various jet flybys uh, in the uh, orbital operations. Several propulsion-related problems have plagued this complex uh, mission, and it is now in a two-year orbit around Sun and has not reached its intended mass. Beagle two. It was initially thought that uh, this uh, spacecraft crashed during landing, but very really recently, just this month, in January 2015, through the images taken by the Uh, NASA's MRO, we find that Beagle 2 was find, found intact on the surface of Mars. This is very, very interesting. Uh, the images suggest that the failure is maybe because of the solar panels of the lander failed to deploy. And Forbes Grant with Yung Ho 1. Uh, it was launched in January 2012. It went into Earth orbit, and from there, the propulsion system failure to take it further has uh, kept in Earth orbit, and uh, because of uh, orbital decay, Uh, eventually it has decayed and crashed into the Pacific Ocean the challenge complexity and length of mars missions make it likely that failures can occur the high failure rate of missions launched from earth attempting to explore mars was informally called the mars curse or martian curse of 51 attempts to reach the planet only 21 have succeeded 18 missions included attempts to land on the surface but only 8 transmitted data after landing The majority of the failed missions occurred in the early years of space exploration. Majority of the failures are primarily due to launch related issues followed by propulsion system problems, landing problems, software errors both in ground and on board, human errors, insufficient hardware testing and the conceived 
mission concept. First task of the Mars Mission Study Team, constituted by Chair Minister in August 2010, was to study the entirety of Mars missions undertaken by the international community so far and consolidate the lessons learned. We made the total effort to collect all literatures available in the world by, by other countries' experience and experiments and failures they met with. That is called learning from failures. Learning from failures when you are talking, you should understand not only learning from own failures, learning from others' failures. That also is very important. And whatever these people have failed in their attempt, you know, we have gone to the published literature, everything, and understood why they failed. Whether it was in terms of redundancy, whether in terms of autonomy, what kind of autonomy features were to be built, and then making sure that you have the LAM engine for which the paths are closed. So all these were based on the failures that had occurred in the past, and then based on that, the kind of configuration we had chosen. I can very confidently tell you that if other missions had not happened before we went to the Mars first time, we also would have found it very difficult to achieve this target of putting the Mars Orbiter in its very first attempt. The Mars Orbiter mission of India has taken into consideration all these lessons learned and incorporated a robust propulsion system, augmented the navigation system from JPL NASA. Of course, I would say it is true that the complexity of, and the length of the mission, duration of the mission, make them very difficult to reach uh, Mars unsuccessfully, and the issues have to be properly factored in the mission and system design. To travel from Earth to Mars over a long seven months, re-enter the Martian atmosphere is a huge technological success in itself.